Rain crashes against Ada's roof. A sound that used to bring relief in the dry season now fills her with dread. The previous year, Ada saw the floods wash away half her crops and her family barely survived. But this isn't just Ada's reality. Across Africa, many lives and livelihoods are disrupted by extreme weather events like floods, droughts, and storms. Our Red Cross and Red Crescent teams are always on the front lines. But we thought, what if we could do more to help people like Ada? What if we could predict these crises and act before they strike? This is how the Anticipatory Action Project was born. Through anticipatory action, our teams work with communities before disasters strike by watching weather patterns, monitoring early warning systems, spreading the word about potential risks, and collaborating with communities, we're taking proactive steps to mitigate disaster risks. Now, Ada receives early warnings from her local national society, giving her time to safeguard her home and farm. With the support of partners like the Italian government, early action protocols are empowering people like Ada to ensure that when a challenge arises, they rise above it. This initiative has grown rapidly, with 18 countries now involved in anticipatory action protocols through Italian government funding, 6 countries on Pillar 1 and 12 countries on Pillar 2. Since the beginning of this grant, we've recorded and funded 12 eminent DREF operations. Our project aims to reach at least 200,000 people, providing them with the tools and knowledge to anticipate and prepare for disasters. Together, we're building systems that don't just respond to disasters, but anticipate them. Because when we anticipate, we prepare. And when we prepare, we save lives. Visit our website www.ifrc.org to learn more about anticipatory action and how you can be part of the solution.